Okay viewers, welcome back to computer networking classes. In previous video, we had discussed about scenario 1 and 2 for congestion control. Now we will check scenario 3 which is based on 4 senders, routers with infinite buffer and multi hop path. So the diagram will be this one and transmission rate will be lambda in and real trans retransmission data or rate will be lambda dash in and at the receiving end it will be lambda out so as we can see that there are four hosts host a b c and d and these are you connected via r1 r2 r3 and r4 routers where finite buffers are added to the routers now as we can see that host a is sending data to host c via r1 and r2 and C is sending back data to R3 and R4 to host A. So these are multi hop paths. In same way, B is sending data to D and uh, D is sending data via R4 to R1 to host B. So in this case, let us discuss about connection between host C to host A and B to D. So as we can see that these two connections are using let me zoom in so you can see that huh. so as you can see that host C is using R3 to host A and host B is using host D via R3 so at the time of sending data at R3 end host C's data means the data with host C will be preferred first because it is taking less time and host B data will come to R3 by R2 so it will take more time to reach R3 so as you can see that uh, as time increases firstly host C's transmission rate will increase okay then after some time the data with host B <coughs> from host B will will be added to the buffers by the end to R3 because of that the lambda dash in means transmission rate of C will get reduced to a certain amount and then it will keep on decreasing and it will come to zero when there is no data in buffers which is com uh, coming by host C to host A and the whole buffer is filled with the data from host B to host D so this was the scenario 3 so now coming to approaches to congestion control as we had discussed earlier that we will be discussing approaches for congestion control in next slides so here we are discussing them so there are two approaches first is end to end con congestion control and another is network assisted con congestion control so as we can uh, understand by the names that congestion control using end to end connection and this congestion control will be assisted by the network elements so in end to end it is not quite important uh, the TCP connection as it is end-to-end -end connection it will take the feedback only from the end-to-end -end elements or entities so for the congestion so it is not quite important but network assisted congestion control is important it is really important as because it will be taking feedback from the network elements occurring inside the network or coming intermediate to the transmission so here we can see that this switch let me change pointer option yes. okay as you can see that this is network assisted congestion control uh, if source wants to send some data to destination and uh, the destination will give a back acknowledgement so as we can see that there are some cells which are sent uh, which are being sent by the source to destination after that it will send 
the destination will send back those cells to source back okay so what are the concept which is hidden behind this technology is that atm abr means asynchronous transfer mode uh, uses switch terminology switch terminology instead of router and also term cell is used rather than packet so here it is using cells as you can see that it, these are transferred back so data cells are transmitted from source to destination through a series of intermediate switches through a series of <coughs> sorry intermediate switches and enter is purged with the data cells are resource <coughs> management cells so these are called as rm cells or resource management cells now what are rm cells so rm cells can be used to convey congestion related information <coughs> sorry uh, information among the hosts and switches so congestion control related information by these switches are being transferred to destination or host no or source and uh, after reaching destination they are sent back to sender by receiver after modification of contents in rm cells so it uses efci bit ci and ni bit which we will discussing here so what are <coughs> efci bit so efci bits are explicit forward congestion indication so it is really a long name that's why we are using acronym efci a congestion network switch can set the efci bit in data cell to 1 if there is a congestion it will set uh, it will set this efci bit to 1 and uh, the destination must check the efci bit in all received data cells so the destination here this is the destination it will check all the rm cells and when an rm cell arrives at the destination if most recently received data cell at the efci bit 1 if the most recent bit is having efci as 1 then the destination sets the congestion indication then it will set that there is a congestion inside the network and you need to reduce the sending rate and to the source it will tell you Uh, then using the efci in data cell and the ci bit in rm cell a sender can thus be notified about congestion so ci and ni bits are uh, <coughs> set by the switches inside the network and the rate of rm cell interspersion is a tunable parameter so we can tune the number of rm cells in a network by default it is 32 data cells Uh, and these rm cells have a congestion indication so if there is ci bit to be 1 then there is a congestion and uh, uh, there is a need to no increase bit to set 1 means there should not be uh, increase in sending rate so that's why it is giving an i bit as 1 that you should not send the uh, you should not increase the sending rate and specifically a switch can set the ni bit in a passing rm cell to 1 under mild congestion so under mild congestion it will set the ni bit to 1 that there should be no increase in sending rate and if there is more congestion it will set the ci bit to be 1 that there is a congestion in network so what is er setting so er setting is explicit rate setting field so it also contains two byte explicit rate field a congestion switch may lower the value contained in the er field in a passing rm cell okay so in this manner the er field will be set to the minimum supportable rate of all switches on the source to destination path so it is quite obvious so in uh, in next video we will be talking about tcp congestion control techniques till then thank you